Zumi's prayers, the hours you were alone. Perhaps the truth depends on a walk around the lake. There is a circularity to all things. When this is found, we may find ourselves where we were, what first we wanted to become, but have not become. What was forbidden to us, but we did go. What fellowship of rings bequested to us. What simple hobbit type life passed by so long ago. The rains came to hurry our walk and to push and to pelt the garden bed. Stricken by it more than we, the flowers knelt, though not dead. We knew how the flowers felt, for life is a wilting place in time. We do well to find its orbit and to stay upon its track, for within the circle is abyss. We dreamed that when we breathed, a garden came, new of all creation, new creator's name. Dreamed the dream would live forever, was real and true, and we would live in joy forever, you in me and me in you. Our causes for ourselves, our quests, are to be defeated by greater and greater things. And who is great beyond your greatness? For you shall have us, and on our circuit touch the wind, the ocean shores, the stones laid up before, discovering, naming, and by so accumulating. In the closing of the circle, the names are lost, the wind and shores not heard. Our failing then is like unto your name, and we bereft of all but that I am. We are as small as a world and as large as alone. This we felt when we were here. But by your light and promise, we shall never be this. Our world will swirl with friendships, upon whom you have placed these crowns which make us all alike, in love with all that was and is and is to be. In our journey through the day, the silent hour of night reveals to our charmed sight what may not bless our waking eyes. Then we shall never be in night, but all will be the orbit of your life. The mirror of eternity is constantly about us, gazing at beauty, gazing at us, gazing at you. Come away, human child, to the waters and the wild, with an angel hand in hand, for the world is more full of weeping than you can understand. We should like to think, Lord, that were we exiled forever from your presence, we yet would keep our heart to you belonging, and with you it would remain. You haunt us night and day, thus never, never go away. Even great souls with will breathe briefly and will die. Our reality bound to them takes leave of us. Our own souls dependent upon their nature now shrink, wizened. Our minds formed and informed by their radiance fall away. We are reduced in all ways. This is what we feel of loves and friendships, forgetting you are they and will be there, and they will be there too. In all ways, we ultimately stand alone before you. As life progresses, we are defeated by greater and greater things than death, which you alone have conquered. Shall we not be light and frolicsome, beautiful, improbable, afraid of nothing, for with death removed, there is nothing improbable to us. Whom did you love? Whom did you hate? To whom were you indifferent? The sum of man is all against you. Could you not fairly choose with whom you would live your life? No harmless ones appeared, none, none. We speak of holiness, beside which none can stand. In the mountains of the night, you turned silences and nights to words, the hours you were alone. The whirling world was never absent to your mind, when in your mind you composed for us the words of life. Before the seas came to be, you watched upon the maelstrom of our life. Ever were we not wanting you, ever were you wanting us. There was joy in the pathless woods and lonely shores upon which we trod, unseeing of the hovering angels and above their own loving God. 
Leave us not ever to tramp alone the echoes of our lives. Bring to them sweet new songs, which sing never more of us, but only of you. Amen.